Welcome back to the FCL Kitchen for the final Meatless Monday of the decade. How crazy is that? No doubt. 2020 resolutions are starting up in a couple of days and many people will probably be eating healthier. At least I'll try to as a part of, you know, what they can always use for these type of segments as some resources. They can, go, they can go back to our entire year of, of these and you can use these recipes and stuff. You're getting off to that healthy kick. Yeah. But we started this about a year ago and I, I know your favorite part is eating what yeah. we, we make. It's basically the only part I really like. But I've been trying to teach you stuff this whole time, so hopefully you can learn. And folks out there, super simple meal preps. Also, budget saver idea is this one, how to make your own vegetable stock. Yeah. Because a lot of meal prep, one of the best things uh, that you can make for a meal prep that lasts a long time, a big pot of soup. Right. Because that can last an entire week. Yeah. But if you go and use like regular you know, stock, you're having a bunch of preservatives and a bunch of ingredients you can't pronounce. And we're always trying to, to update our, our, our uh, uh, eating clean and, and keeping homemade vegetable broth from food scraps. Um, sorry, we got lost here. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you're making your own broth. It's super simple. One of the things that we do at home whenever you're cutting vegetables. Yeah. Or you, watching someone else, watching cut, somebody vegetables. else cut vegetables. <laughs> you got a bunch of scraps. So you got basically here, take a look. You can see these are how we save them. We save them in little uh, plastic bags. But it's onion peels. Carrots, no, you're not joking. Stuff. When you say scraps, you you very much so mean scraps. I mean, yeah. this, this is something I would clearly throw away here. It's like a little the end part, the of, end the part onion. of the onion. Yeah, what would I do with that? But there's still so many nutrients in that. So here's the thing. That's one of the things. How does it work? You know, which one should you save? So here's the scraps to save. You got all the, the celeries, the carrots, the onions, the garlic. Um, you got herbs, herbs any lemon. kind of herbs, lemon and lime. Uh, all parts of that. All parts of that. Potatoes. Yeah. So I got uh, sweet potato skins because that makes the, the broth a little real sweet. Um, scallions, shallots. Basically anything you would normally see in a soup, yeah. you can save those scraps. Here's some things you don't want to save because um, these just don't really work out well. Okay. Um, avocado seeds and uh, um, and, and, and the, the avocado peels. skins. The skin, yeah. Don't I mean, I can see that. Don't save that. Um, banana, banana peels. Banana peels. Mm, no. Stone <laughs> fruit cores, which is like cherries and peaches. Okay. Those are actually toxic. So oh. don't put those, don't put those okay. in there. Um, you know, cabbage and turnips, cauliflower, artichokes, Brussels sprouts, things that have like that really strong um, taste that it'll overpower your broth. Now that's interesting because now the, I feel like the first three are almost kind of like common sense things. I yeah. don't think I would save those things either way, but like I, I wouldn't have imagined that makes sense. The broccoli, cauliflower could be a little bit overbearing. You can also see in here what I didn't put in there, uh, bell pepper cores. Ah, you know, those you, are my favorite. I mean, I, I, I toss them out, but like sometimes I'll munch on them before I throw them away because yeah, I feel the, like I'm wasting it. The core still has so much nutrients uh, in it and there's so much flavor in it. So yeah. here's how you do it. You basically take all of those, which I've already done here. You put them in a pot. Yeah. Uh, you, you bring it to a boil. And once it's to a boil, you, you reduce it down to a simmer. You simmer it for about 30 minutes. You can simmer longer if you want, but you only put in enough water to barely put the vegetables in put in enough water to barely cover the vegetables. Okay. Because if you use too much water, your broth is going to be watery. Yeah. And then basically once, once it's done, you kind of scoop it out. You're going to want to strain it though. You're going to want to strain it. And then let me show you this. Where is my cup? The broth comes out looking hey, like look a nice that. amber lager. It does. Right? Yeah. And there you go. You pop that in the freezer and you can use it for soups. I wouldn't drink that. I'm not going it's to. It's boiling hot. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> All right, you can check this out on the website and you can see all this again. We'll put it there at firstcoastliving.net.